Hey there, so I actually really like multiplying fractions and it's actually not that bad. Um, I do it a little bit differently than I think uh, other math teachers will, will do, but here's what I do. The first thing I do is I ignore the signs um, and I do that quite intentionally. So step one, ignore signs. So this is negative and this is positive, don't worry about that. Two, convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I say three times five is 15 plus two is 17. So this becomes a 17 over 5 times 1 times 17 is 17 plus 1 is 18. So I get 18 over 17. And then it says multiply the numerators. Well, um, it is 2 o'clock in the morning, so my head's not exactly where it should be, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to add these quickly. These are 306. So I get 306 over 85. Gonna erase this. And then what I do is I'm gonna simplify. And oddly enough, I know that 17 goes into both of these. And I know that 17 goes into this by 8 over 5. Oops, so there should be um I say simplify and write as a mixed number. So this is going to be 3, because 5 goes into 18 3 times, with a remainder of 3, so it's 3 out of 5. And then I say remember the signs. Well, I start off with a negative. Start off with a negative. There's times a positive. Well, a negative times a positive is a negative, so my answer is negative. Um, there is another way of doing this, and I put a star here because with the exception of this, this this always comes at the end. Oops. If I started with 17 over 5 times 8 over 17, I could recognize that this really means 17 times 8 over 17 times 5. Well, 17 cancels into 17, or simplifies into 17. They both divide into each other. That's how I get 8 over 5 quickly, which gives me like 3 and 3 fifths. And then, like I said, you have to remember your signs at the end. It becomes negative. I'm going to do one more example for you. Um, let's say we have 3 and 2 thirds times 1 and 6, uh, well, let's say 1 6 fifths, why not? 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so I get 11 thirds. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 6 is 11 over 5. And you're going to notice, 5 does not go into 11, and 3 does not go into 11, so I'm not actually going to be able to simplify this at the end because it will be in simplest form. 3 times 5 is 15. And I say, how many times does 15 go into uh, 121? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I do know that clockwise, there's 15 minutes an hour. So this is just for myself. 15, 30, 60, 90. Uh, I'm sorry, 15, 30, 45, 60, so that's for 75, 80, 90, 105, 120. So 15 times 8 equals 120. That's 115. If you didn't understand what I was doing here, I was just counting the minutes. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120. So if I go around the clock twice, um, that's two hours, and two hours is 120 minutes, and there's a quarter of an hour. Don't really worry about the clock right here. I was just doing that for myself. All right, so that's it. Multiplying fractions. Oh, and just remember, negative times the negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. Positive times negative is negative. Positive times positive is positive. If the signs are the same positive, signs are different, they're negative.